<laughs> we are at one of our favorite places doing something that's really, really, really exciting. And that is we're going to take the new truck and we are at Wrap Effects. You already know what's going to happen. What's going to happen, dear? We're going to add a pop of color. We're going to add a pop of color. We're going to change some things up. We've learned since we got this truck, it likes to get rock trips since we put these big wheels and tires and stuff on it. So we've come up with a plan. What's the plan? Well, they've come out with a new wrap. It's in, called Indestructible. Indestructible wrap. It came out June of this year and it's made in Canada. Yep. And you know, when you saw the last video we did, we wrapped her whole Explore this amazing color. And I did a whole video on how Zach did it. Zach just left and he left us in here all by ourselves. <laughs> He said he'll be right back. And I'm like, okay. He's got a new new place. We're in Lenexa up by the highway. Check it out. He's getting ready to wrap this wonderful little Tesla. What color is he choosing? Uh, it's a textured. Oh, it was a textured color. Yeah, textured black. So the cool thing is, is he pulls it all apart and does it the right way, as opposed to just wrapping everything on the car. Let's, let's talk about this wrap. This is the indestructible wrap. Right. Can you hold this? Because I have I no can. hands. Yeah, I sure can. Yeah. And it's like four times thicker than a normal wrap. Yes, it's very thick. It's like super thick, like ridiculous. You can see how thick that is. That's nuts. Yeah, In comparison to, to yeah, the normal wrap. Right? So we're going to put it in this indestructible wrap. We're doing the wonderful truck a certain... We don't want to give all the details away. Do we want to do that? We don't want to give all the details. We're going to have a little pop of color from our logo and do some fun things. It's going to be good. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's looking at colors. Show them the colors of all the different... Everyone always asks us, is we get it with her vehicle all the time. Is this... Uh, did you paint it this color or what? You can choose any color now. Well, and this is one book of one, two, three, four, five, Show six, seven. There are seven, seven different uh, books that Zach has here of different colors. He's the only one in Kansas City that's using a couple of these other new brands that's more of like a paint. Look at that. Our daughter would love that one. Yes. Um, but yeah, just book after book after book of, of color options. So the days of, I think, really painting a vehicle are kind of behind us. I think... You, the benefits of wrapping something in anything that you can think of, even if it was a boring white Explorer like ours and turning it into something really cool, people always ask, well, how much is it? And stuff like that. So it just depends on your on what your preference is, the type of wrap it is, and what kind of car. So in size, size yeah, things like that. Wrap, yes, so yes. our Explorer was around 3,000, I think, somewhere Here's around some there. some greens. Uh -huh. Maybe some green would look good on your truck. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but it really depends. I mean, it's you can go high, low, whatever, but it kind of, whatever you choose. Typically, he's now getting to a point, since we came out and we did the video last, he said he's been super busy doing yes. two cars a week right almost. Now he's booked up till Christmas. Yeah, but he's going to fit us in. You know why? Because we're special. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have to leave when our... We got it early in January, in. so he's got to yeah. get it done. He's got to get it done. Look at all those colors. It's like a rainbow in here. It's fun. Okay, so since Zach's gone, let's make some deals. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your car in. I'll get it done. Might not yeah. look good when I'm yeah, finished, but... Because yeah. Zach takes the whole car apart. Yeah, he takes it apart. I'll see if I can find some clips to throw in this video on what he did with hers. The cool part when he did yours, uh, she did not see it until it was over. So it was like a nice little cool room. Today's video, you should wrap a vehicle. If you ever have not done that, you should just give it a shot wherever you live. And I think you'd be fun with the results, even if it's like accent colors or things like but that. But if you live in Kansas City, you should give Zach a call at yes. Wrap Effects. He's a good dude. That, that's, a, that's a plug. He's not even paying us or giving us a discount for that. Mm, we should talk to him about Yeah, we should talk to him about <laughs> our influence. Wrap Effects. Best place to see him is on Instagram because he does the reveals on everything. And our Explorer's on there, plus like some high-end awesome cars. And the truck will be there too when it's finished.
But first off, we got to get this product in from Canada, which might take a little bit because it's so new. And we don't. It's got to cross the border. Oh, it's cool. And we don't do anything normal. No. It's always like a little excessive. <laughs> Scratch it. Oh wow. That's. I'm putting pressure on that. There Are we you? go, a little oh. bit. I got it finally. But I. But it even goes away. Yeah. Zach says thing, things are so healing. Yeah, that's crazy. Huh. What a... And today's great adventure I am taking my wonderful truck in this Ram 3500 2020 to wrap effects so we can do something special to it as we hit the road and do a little protection on it. So we're doing something called the indestructible wrap, which is a very unique product. I can't wait to see how this all turns out, but roll the intro and I look forward to showing you the process along the way. And today we are at Rap Effects. Good old Zach is going to be, he's in here doing some major work, which is pretty cool. But we're gonna be using something different. It's called, it's from Vivid, and it's called Indestructible Wrap. They started making it June of 2020. It was very difficult to get. Zach had to order it from Canada. Of course, with all the restrictions going on, to get it in was a chore in itself. But it is, probably six to seven times thicker than a normal wrap. As you can see, it kind of looks like a rhino lining. Um, it sticks on like a normal wrap, but it's gonna be used down the sides of the truck. And also we're gonna be doing some green accents to get it to pair into our wonderful rig. So I'm looking forward to that. He has never used this product before. There's very few people that have wrapped with this before. I can't even really find any videos of anyone doing what we're getting ready to do. Right, Zach? He's not, he's not even super excited about it because he knows it's going to be a little tougher. It's going to be a challenge. As you can see, he loves to do all the fancy stuff from the Audis and the Porsches and all the other things. But today, he's going to be starting on our 2020 Dodge Ram Dually 3500 with something he's never used before. And I look forward to showing you how it's all going to turn out. But with rock chips on a Dually and the big tires and stuff, I'm hoping that's going to keep that all down. But Honestly, we really have no idea. This could turn out really bad or really, really good. Right, Zach? <laughs> he, is, he is super excited about this challenge. So, that being said, let's just get this thing started and I'll give you updates as we go and then hopefully get to see it all wrapped together. So, thanks for tuning in and let's get to it. You say you're fine, but I can see right through You're holding your secrets for way too long This can't keep going on With every lie, they keep on hurting you Getting away with everything they do This can't keep going on, oh We're gonna find them, and I'm gonna fight for you They better start hiding We'll be running with the lions, lions We'll be running with the lions, lions
looking out for you This can't keep going on, no Cause you're not alone in this We'll do this together No, you're not alone in this No We're gonna find them And I'm gonna fight for you They better start hiding We'll be running with the lions, lions We'll be running with the lions Alright, process has started. He's disassembled everything, threw in my wonderful doors in here. He's never used this product before, that's why it's such a unique thing to do. So I'm looking forward to it. It's so thick and so different. So, but as you can see, he's removed all the door panels, all the handles. It'll be interesting to see how it all shakes out, but I'm excited about it. He's pulling the string. All right, day two. I stopped in just to see how progress was going. This is pretty amazing. They've got this side of the truck pretty much done. And again, nobody's really used this material for something like this. And so he's had to do a learning process on using it. We've had to put a seam right here um, because of the way it sits. And I wanted this material originally because I was worried about right here, I had to have stuff in here and then I'd reach in and then I'd pull it out and then I would scrape the top of this. So that's why I was looking for some solution that would help and that was the indestructible wrap. Now I did look at Linex, they had this new material that came out that's a really thin coating, but he didn't feel comfortable um, using that when I went to talk to them. So in this scenario played out, in the long run, if I don't like this or if it's not working the way I want, literally we can just pull it all off and um, start to do something different. So I'm looking forward to the protection because if you remember from this big tire back here, I was getting rocks thrown up and they were rock chipping this whole section right here. So I'm really looking forward to making sure that all lines up good. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have some green accents added to the front and those will tie in with our fifth wheel, which I'm super excited about. So, but I think it's turned out good. Went ahead and did back here because when I'm throwing stuff in, I've already done two dings up here. So I'm wanting to protect this area from things being thrown into the back of the truck. So um, that's pretty much it. They're lining out the second side and hopefully we'll see what this looks like tomorrow. And uh, I'll get Zach's opinion, maybe give us some tips and tricks on um, what happens in the long run and how he did the install and the, the difficulties he came across. But, until then, we'll see how tomorrow looks. Be awesome. And we are finished. I'm with Zach with Wrap Effects here in Overland Park. Where are we in Lenexa? Lenexa. Yeah, we're in Lenexa, Kansas. Um, he's actually done, let's see, you've done our Explorer. Right. And then now he's just did this vehicle and he's given me tips and pointers on other things. So truck's all finished. I wanted uh, just to take a second and let him explain because to my understanding, nobody's really used this wrap for anything like we're using it for. And you've never wrapped anything like this. Right, not to this magnitude no. size wise. And so, and this wrap, um, Vivid came out with it, I think, June of 2020, and it was hard for you to get. 
Yeah, it had to wait a while. Because <laughs> it had to go across the Canada border, so it took a little while. And my whole goal when I came to him and I showed him this product, he was like, what is this? My whole goal was to protect the truck because I had rock chips. He cleaned it all up, and you could see how many, I mean, the whole thing had rock chips. Oh, yeah. Brand new. Yeah, now you can't see them at all. So that was my thing. So I wanted Zach to kind of explain to anyone that does wraps or anyone that's wanting to use this material, the pluses and minuses using it because it's so thick. So um, one, it is made by Vivid. And what is this? Probably what? How many? How much thickness is probably Ooh. four times, five times thicker than all? Oh, yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty insane, honestly. Um, did, what is the things that you noticed about using this as versus the normal wraps that you use? Uh, so for people who are wanting to use it, right. as far as like if you need to cut and you don't want to cut on the car, you need to use, um, there's basically two different options. You have finish line, right. which is a thicker, like a normal knifeless tape, or there's precision line, which is what is used for like chrome or PPF, right. where it's got like a metal filament. Um, we ended up just getting away with doing, uh, using the finish line. Okay. A little easier to work with, um, and it took the design we did took an entire roll, literally, down to the, like the last six inches. It's perfect. <laughs> no mess ups. No <laughs> mess ups. But it is so thick, and it's so it's got this uh, texture to it. And you know, you kept saying it's going to eat through your gloves. And oh yeah, be prepared to go through uh, some squeegees. <laughs> it's basically like wrapping sandpaper. So yeah, we started bare hands, and then it kind of rubbed them wrong. So <laughs> then you move the gloves, then it rubbed through the gloves, then you just do it with the squeegee. Did you make you it through with one buffer? Yeah, oh. uh, it, it started with a regular size buffer. I think it's done like half size, which <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever experienced that before, which is kind of funny. Well, you know, so. but it looks really, really good. Yeah. And then let's talk about when you were putting it on, you had to, um, you said it was hard to find the air bubbles. Yeah, that was one tricky thing. I think that's just comes to the nature of it being black. Right. A little harder to see. If we would have done the gray, it might have been a little bit different. Um, the air release on this material is pretty good. Right. So with it being such a thick material, uh, normally when you're getting bubbles out, you, I always teach people you don't want to use a squeegee to get the bubbles right. out. Whereas with this one, you're able to do that because it's so thick, it's pretty strong. The, the other thing too, when um, we were talking and it was, uh, what was it? It, it? This material only comes in two colors. It comes in black and it comes in uh, light gray. And I didn't really like the light gray. Right. Since this is a Dodge and it's got this big, huge bubble rear end, you had to do a seam. Yeah. Seams, how hard were they to do? Um, the tricky thing with that is just based on the thickness of the material. Okay. So like laying the knifeless, right. getting it as close as possible. Because um, it looks really good, but I know it was hard. And then he said the other hard. thing that's really, really difficult with the material is bending it around. Like a lot of times on wraps, you go around and cup it, but since it's so thick, you had to face cut some of it. Yeah, with this one, well that was also just with clearance issues right. with panels, um, yeah. wanting to face cut. With you having a black truck, you're able to do that. If it was any other color truck, you would have had it done multiple pieces. That would have been pretty tricky. Yeah. So. All in all, I'm super, super happy with the outcome. I'm happy that we're not going to have rock chips when we hit the road. And once again, Zach killed it. Rap effects. So if, you have, if you're in Lenexa or Kansas City area, you can give him a shout. Um, I don't know if he'll do another full vehicle. We'll <laughs> see in this material. His specialty, as you can see, is doing high-end custom cars and stuff so i appreciate you taking on this wonderful challenge with all that being said we hit the road in just a few days if you have any questions whatsoever um i'll leave comments and stuff down below to any questions that you may have and we'll see if we can answer that out so thanks so much for tuning in and i hope you enjoy the new rig i love the green too by the way it just looks really good <laughs>
this indestructible wrap it's, it, it is almost like a I would I would say it's like a Linex bed liner would be the best scenario so nobody's ever used it on a truck like this with all these curves um, I know that I'm gonna have to kind of watch to make sure that everything stays in place I might have to put some 3m primer to try to seal down some edges because it doesn't like to stick to itself because of how thick it is so there's gonna be some nuances being um, a guinea pig in essence is what I'm being but in the long run I think it's really gonna work out great for what we're wanting to do I'm glad you got to tune in Man, and it just looks good it looks good so I love the green accents it's gonna go with our fifth wheel and I think I'm gonna to have to name this thing I don't know we need a name for it now we need a name it can't be just like the switch it up vehicle it's got to be like it's got to have a name something awesome so little green accents on the front Whew. all right glad you tuned in really excited about this as you can tell it's time to switch it up see you later